you know that some persons can be sustained by just one or two clients they are not looking for many clients they're not looking to catch many fishes they just need like three big fish it's very tricky though but i think it's a more sustainable way of doing design business this can only work when you can build a sustainable relationship with your clients today i'm going to be showing you how you can build sustainable relationship with your clients so that if you want you can just get a few big fish in the industry and just stick with them they can sustain you trust me i know what i mean but before then you've got to learn these tips Okay, I'm going to give you four tips that you can use to build that client relationship that can lead to a small sustainable relationship. Okay, just building it with two or three clients. I understand that we have a lot of clients we're working for, but um, you can just make three of them your major clients. Okay, and they can sustain you um, in the process of not getting job from them. Maybe temporarily, just in a short term, you can just deal with other minor clients. But you should have at least three major clients you are working with. If you have three clients, you are doing your best for there might be different categories of brand it can be food tech brand it can be separated but if you have these three brands and you want to build your business model just facing these three brands that these are the brands that are going to sustain me it makes you able to direct your energy to maximize your energy okay you don't get to just distribute your energy anyhow at the end of the day or end of your career you see that there is nothing really you have built this is it's a very wise approach and i want to just uh, spit it out to you how you can do the same many other big designers they do it how can you do the same point number one is that you have to be builders oriented you have to be builders oriented what do i mean by that i mean that you have to provide good value there are millions of persons that are into what you do so you have to provide a value that has depth. You have to set a very high benchmark that the rest of your, your colleagues or your contemporaries cannot beat. You have to work closely with your clients, provide them that value that would upgrade their businesses. You won't, you won't work with anybody and maybe say your input upgrades their business and they will forget about you. I've had um, multiple clients trying to retain me <laughs> but meanwhile i'm not into getting retained this this and that so i just casually refused the offer but that was not me i don't i don't work with them at least i have about four clients that i do real business with the other clients they are just minor okay and i believe you should have the same in such cases you don't treat all clients as the same that's the mistake people make there are some clients that can that can call me in the night and say okay i want to i want to get this done because we built that relationship i know how to provide value um to that business not just the money they can come in in the night because they built that place in let me see i can say my life or the the, the the business i run there are some major clients you build with and the major way is by adding value to their business so they see you as somebody that is significant point two is that you can't do all this without understanding what the client really needs you need clarity i know not everybody like to research but as designers we have multiple knowledge especially brand identity designers you have to research on the business and most times you get to make a research on different categories of businesses okay i believe that is what you should do while doing that you are getting clarity on the client's business it's not it's not bad if you know a little about the client business um, for a while now sometimes i can just tell my client okay um, this is what your business is about i think we can do this communication thing much better i think people don't understand what this is all about i think you can do this to make them understand more so providing such value would not be possible if you do not understand their business if you do not clearly understand what they want their goal you have to know the goal of their business doing all this will make you have a stake in that business that client will end up becoming one of the major source of your sustenance thirdly you want to always update the project you want to get feedback from this client how was the work how was this listen to them listen to them and then that thing is um your promptness okay you have to be prompt in giving them replies like i said before you can't give everybody the same um, level of attention especially in business you would run it down if you do so there are some key um, clients you have so when it comes to those clients you have to give them most of the time rapt attention okay try your best to be prompt 
okay if your energy is not directed that would not work that would not be possible because you try to attend to multiple people at a time but um, that is not wise that would not be wise for your design business and everything i'm telling you is what i do is what i do it's not something from a book or or elsewhere it is something i do it is something i do i believe it's it's going to help you sustain your business also so the last but not the least i'll call it following up your clients okay so basically get to do a work and they don't follow it up you don't um, call the client or message the client and say how far how is the business going um how was the last design i did did it um send the message it was supposed to send you 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 follow them up have a stake okay in their future have a stake in their future you have to be intentional about it have a stake so conversations like that means you have a stake in their future you can even bring collaborative ideas like okay the client might not be asking for something but you know that okay that would be of benefit to your client you can say okay can i bring this in and i think this would be nice for the business would be nice for this your new product i believe it would be nice doing that the client might not get to see how important what you are bringing is maybe initially but you chipping it in and later when the client finds out that wow this was really helpful to the to the business trust me you have your stake in that business already nobody would would send away something that helps okay nobody would forget something that helps okay and then it gets to a level you now have them as a permanent client and i believe that is what you should strive for okay so it's all about intentionality do you really want them to be permanent clients do you want to be paid by this client do you want these clients these two or three or four clients to be the ones to sustain you do you really want it and are they high paying also you have to put to consideration that okay if they are then you want to consider making them permanent clients okay so that's it for this video and i believe you've gotten one or two um, design business tips if this video was helpful to you please subscribe turn on the notification bell if you're just coming for the first time and let me see your comment um, down below do you have any other suggestion of videos we can treat concerning maybe design business and um, i believe this series has been really helpful to you okay do well to like share okay see you next time i remain ekd